My name is Ivory Lucas III. My major is Arts Administration. It's in the Department of Art Education. I'm a musician by trade, and I have several business degrees, and by working with other artists, I've learned that a lot of the artists I work with didn't have the business knowledge. So I wanted to be able to merge the two, so having my doctorate in arts administration allows me to bridge the gap between the business side of the arts and the arts themselves. I'm a South Georgia guy, so it's always, it was always a dream for me to go to Florida State University. I went to Valdosta State undergrad, and then I was fortunate enough to attend a business program here, so I was able to get my MBA from the university as well. Having the basic knowledge of business, I wanted to get a deeper knowledge of business. And then furthermore, once I got my master's in business, I wanted to get, I wanted to further my education in the arts so that I could be able to teach on another level. Working with artists, I didn't realize that some of the basics of business that they didn't understand, like such as the break, it, break even point. As we see, me personally, I see musicians all the time that run constantly and they don't even know by the end of the week how much they've made once they've taken out their time, taken out gas, taken out food, just how much they've made by running so much. A lot of them don't know what it'll take to be successful or to make a living because they don't understand just the basics. Throughout the years, I have been able to coach and guide someone from working themselves up from a custodial worker to a superintendent, which is next to assistant director in the facility. So that's several levels of growth that I've seen this person personally achieve. And that's one of my greatest achievements that I've seen. Seeing someone start at one place and finish at another place and not letting up obstacles stop them is one of the greatest things that I, I see and have witnessed. I was once told if you don't feel like quitting, then you're in the wrong program. And that's just a part of graduate education. You, you're going to get to those tough moments where you feel like you don't want to go on. And what I find personally, I've found comfort in knowing the people who have accomplished what I want to accomplish and just speaking to those people, learning about those difficult times that they've had and the challenges they've had and knowing that, knowing that if they can overcome those obstacles and be able to achieve their goal, then I can do the same. My goals are to, I would say 10 years from now, you see me working in administration, helping those kids who may not be confident in themselves, be able to grow, be able to achieve their dreams. And not only that, have, having my own personal story to be able to relate to them, to let them know, because I've, you know, I've been in, in a place where I failed. And failure doesn't mean the end, it just means you have to get back up, recruit, and continue moving forward. Know that every, in a graduate program, when the research is important to you, every part of your life is gonna be reflected in your research if you're passionate about it. So you have to find out, if you're not passionate about what you're researching, you won't make it. It has to mean something to you. You have to know that you're affecting more people than just yourself, and that your research is gonna have effects on people for years to come. So knowing that, that your research means something, 
is what's going to be one of your motivating factors for continuing.